Hi, I'm Courtney with the Office for Mac team, and in this video, I'm going to show some of my favorite features in PowerPoint 2008. Everything I'm going to show you in this video is also in the PowerPoint Great Features course, which you can find in PowerPoint Help or on the Office for Mac website. If you want to follow along with me, go ahead and download and open the practice file that comes with the course. In the course, you'll find additional tips, a quiz, and a quick reference card, which I encourage you to check out if you have time. Okay, let's get started. Themes might just be my favorite feature in PowerPoint 2008. In one click, you can apply a professional design to your entire presentation. Here on the Elements Gallery, you click Slide Themes. Find the theme you want, say this one called Aspect. Click it, and you can see that the theme gets applied to all of the slides. You can also try out different theme colors and fonts if you want, but usually I just stick with the ones in the theme. By the way, if you don't see the formatting palette, click this button here on the toolbar. Keep in mind that you can apply a different theme at any time, so you're never stuck if you decide you want a different look. Most of my presentations contain a lot of text, which is why I like using PowerPoint's new SmartArt graphics to make the text look more visual. Say you want to convert this bulleted list into a graphic. You just select the text, then here in the Elements Gallery, click Smart Art Graphics. Find the one you like, let's use this one called Vertical Bullet List, then click it. Looks a lot better, right? If you want to add or change text, you can do that here in the Text pane. And like with other objects, you can move Smart Art Graphics anywhere on the slide. There are a lot of different designs to choose from, even ones you can add pictures to. If you have a chance, try out some of the others. If you have to reuse slides from other presentations, I think you're going to like this next feature. First, you need to decide where you want to insert the reuse slides. Let's insert them after this slide. Now, click Insert, point to Slides From, and then click Other Presentation. Then select the presentation that contains the slides you want to reuse. You can choose to insert all of the slides or just specific ones. I just want to reuse a few of the slides, so I'll choose those now. And once you have all the slides you want, you click Insert, close the Slide Finder, and you can see that the slides are now in this presentation and even use the same theme. While we're looking at the left pane, let me show you a quick way to arrange your slides. If you don't see the left pane, click View and make sure Normal is checked. First, I'll make the pane a little bigger to see the slides better. Now you just click the slide you want to move, drag it to a new location, this narrow gray line indicates where it will be positioned, and release the mouse. This is a convenient way to quickly organize slides, especially ones you might have just added from another presentation. Dynamic Guides is another feature that's really handy when you need to position and align objects on a slide. First, you need to click View and make sure that there's a check mark next to Dynamic Guides. Now all you do is click an object on the slide, drag it near the object that you want to align it with, and when you see the blue guideline appear, release the mouse. You can use dynamic guides to align any object, like a text box, picture, or smart art graphic, with other objects as well as with the center of the slide. When I deliver a presentation, I like to use PowerPoint's presenter tools to keep me organized and in control. To start presenter tools, you click View, and then Presenter Tools. And here you can practice your presentation, keep track of how long it lasts, move between slides, see which slides are coming up next, and reference your slide notes. Remember, if you want your audience to see only the slideshow and not your notes in the timer, you'll need to run the slideshow on a secondary monitor. For information about using multiple displays, see Mac OS X Help. One way I like to share a presentation, especially with people who don't use PowerPoint, is to save it as an iPhoto album. All you do is click File, 
point to send to, and then click iPhoto. Now you can type a name for the album, select an image format, let's stick with JPEG. Select if you want to send all slides or just the one that's currently selected in the left pane. Let's go with all slides. And when you click send to iPhoto, iPhoto opens and each slide appears as a picture in the album. Now you can play the slideshow right from iPhoto, or if you have a video iPod or iPhone, sync the album through iTunes and watch your presentation on the go. By the way, if you don't have iPhoto or just want to save your slides as a picture, try out the Save as Pictures option here on the File menu. So those are some of my favorite PowerPoint features. I hope you'll get as much out of them as I do. Remember, the PowerPoint Great Features course covers all of these features in more depth, and if you want to learn more about PowerPoint or have other questions, check out PowerPoint Help or the Office for Mac website. Both have a new look and are regularly updated to address feedback from people like yourself.